Coming to Kickstarter this June, John Haynes at Death's Door, the man who rules the world, takes on the Greek god of death in this action-packed all-new John Haynes comic book. Get your copy of the standard and variant editions of John Haynes at Death's Door and lots of other great stretch goal rewards on Kickstarter this June. The mainstream media has been trying to spin the story of a United Airlines worker who was fired for brawling with a former NFL player. Now, in this incident, which took place at Newark Airport, this white male United Airlines worker got into an argument with former NFL player Brandon Langley, who was allegedly putting his luggage on what he alleges is a wheelchair. And as he was going out here with this luggage in this alleged wheelchair, this United Airlines worker decided to get into an argument with him as he was checking his luggage. And as he was arguing with this United Airlines worker, the United Airlines worker got so caught in his emotions, he wound up slapping next NFL player, Brendan Langley. Now, Brendan Langley responded by hitting this United Airlines worker with two punches and let this led to the United Airlines worker crashing to the ground and busting his head open and bleeding. Now, the mainstream media has cut a lot of the footage out of this viral video, which shows the white male airline worker slapping Brendan Langley, who is black, and them, they try to spin the narrative that your Brendan Langley was a violent black brute. And that's really giving us not the complete story, because the complete story, when you see the whole video that is viral, shows this white male airline worker throwing the first punch, and this is the main reason why he was terminated. Now, the mainstream media wants to, us to believe that your Brendan Langley was the bad guy here because he decided to allegedly use this wheelchair allegedly instead of a cart that cost five dollars but when I take a critical examination of this entire incident I really see the United Airlines worker as one of these beta males that I talk about in my book The Man Crisis and when it comes down to a lot of these beta males when they get on the job they always think that they have to go out here and go out here and do their job. Now, this beta male wanted to go out here and try to follow what he thought were all the rules as related to this check station, and really he didn't understand how to use discretion and critical thinking. He only thought about this Brendan Langley using this alleged wheelchair as a luggage rack and thought, wanted to tell this guy that he needed to use a luggage cart that cost $5. Unfortunately, because all he was thinking about was that $5 cart, he wasn't thinking about the thousands of dollars he was going to lose by further escalating things with Brendan Langley. Now, any critical thinking guy who has one of these kinds of customer service jobs knows that these jobs are a lot of stress and there are a lot of people who are going to try to get over on things and they know and you know that when you work these kind of jobs you really don't want to get into it with these customers because this could lead to you winding up losing your job unfortunately this beta male all he was thinking about was following the so-called rules instead of putting a period at the end of things and just moving on because your job there is just to check the luggage don't worry about the luggage racks that has nothing to do with you you have no control over what these individuals do whatever they carry their luggage in is not your problem all you want to do is be able to move things forward and get through your day unfortunately when you're dealing with a beta male his world is only smooth if everybody follows the rules and the sad part is this beta male wanted everybody to follow the so-called rules and this is what led to him escalating things and starting an argument with Brendan Langley and looking to escalate things because he wanted him to submit to following the rules. Now any other employee who has critical thinking and works a low-wage job like this, the first thing they're going to say is, 
Hey, yeah, I see that I see that he's using a possible wheelchair as a possible luggage rack and he's trying to skirt the fee, but that five dollars is nothing compared to the money I'm gonna make today because the company ain't gonna care what he uses as a rack. All they all we wanna do is check this guy and keep it moving because in today's modern airline industry, we have a lot of irate customers and frustrated customers, and it's just better to just put a period at the end of things and just keep it moving. That's what a critical thinking man does. He says, yeah, I see it, but I'm just going to go check this luggage and keep it moving because it ain't got nothing to do with me. I will let a supervisor or security deal with a Brendan Langley if he is out of policy and I'm not going to go and try to get into a back and forth with this individual and put my own health, safety and freedom at risk like this beta male did for this job because these jobs are not loyal to an employee and since they're not loyal to an employee it's just smart for the employee to say look this ain't got nothing to do with me I will let somebody else deal with him and I'm not gonna get into a back and forth and put my own health and safety and freedom at risk over a company that doesn't really care about me as an employee because this company once this video went viral had no qualms about going out here and firing this beta male because they saw that he violated their policies and because he violated their policies by assaulting a customer they wound up firing him because he was he has made the company liable as related to this whole situation yes your brendan langley might have possibly been in the wrong for allegedly using that wheelchair for a cart but the whole thing was this guy was further in the wrong because he escalated a situation at the job by putting hands on a customer yes there are lots of frustrated and irate customers out there but a customer service person has to be able to navigate through their emotions when dealing with different kinds of individuals and you have to remain calm in these situations because there are people who are going to push your buttons there are going to be people who get you upset there are going to be people who are going to look to give you a hard time but you have to let it roll off you and you can yes you can have your feelings about these people but you cannot act on your feelings about these people because if you act on your feelings about these people you will wind up like this united airlines worker who is now out of a job and now that his face has been shown in a viral video it will be next to impossible for dude to find another job in customer service because he has shown he does not have strong discipline strong self-control or a lack of really ability to know how to think critically or problem solve in these situations again i'm going to repeat what you do when you're dealing with this kind of customer because i've had to deal with this kind of customer when i was working at the city college of new york at their science library and sometimes you just have to let a toxic person go in order to get through your day because it's just not worth arguing with this individual over trivial rules because it's all about you coming out at the end of the day with your health and your and 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 coming out in one piece because you have to really think assess the intangibles that are more important than this job such as your health such as your safety and even in some cases your freedom you have to assess these things and understand that these things have more value than you in trying to play hero for a company that could give less than a crap about you because for many of these companies you are just a replaceable cog in their machine and since you're a replaceable cog in their machine 
once they once you once you get kicked out of this position they've got somebody else lined up for that position and at the end of the day you're the one who's out of money you're the one who's out of a job and your brendan langley is probably in calgary right now playing for the cfl and he's not really phased by the whole situation and the only guy who's lost anything here is this united airlines worker and that's what's really got a lot of the people in the mainstream media upset that a white male wound up losing at the end of the day as related to this story. But this white male wound up losing at the end of the day because he did not know how to think critically or problem solve and he escalated a situation into something worse because he didn't understand how to take a loss and how to accept taking a loss when you're dealing with a customer who isn't so-called following the rules. Again, when you're sitting there at a customer service line and somebody is not really following the so-called rules, that's not for you to go coming up in here. Don't worry about a $5 luggage cart because you're going to wind up losing thousands of dollars arguing with a dude and escalating things and this dude is lucky that he's not being prosecuted for assaulting this individual because he's going to be on the hook over this whole situation because he was the one who slapped this individual he was the one who escalated the matter and he was the one who started the whole mess and he's lucky that he only lost his job because assaults like this again are on the state level very severe punishments and this was assault and battery plain and simple he slapped this football player started a fight and the media wants to make it look like the like the black guy is the bad guy but your brendan langley isn't the bad guy he was defending himself as related to this situation because a customer service worker is not supposed to put hands on a customer no if a customer service worker is having an issue they are to go get their manager or go get security to defuse the situation but this individual because he was in his feelings wanted to go out here and try to take everything in his own hands and when he took everything in his own hands he violated company policy and he made the company liable as related to this whole situation with Brendan Langley. He basically put the company on the hook. The same company, now that it's on the hook for all of this violence, now has tossed him to the side by firing him. And that's why many smart workers, they just sit there and say, okay, yeah, I see that, that he's got this. I'm not even phased by it. What I'm gonna do is just punch in my codes Put it put his luggage on the rack and then wish him a nice flight and I'm gonna put a period at the end of things because what this guy is doing by so-called violating the so-called rules as he believed is not worth my job and it's not worth me getting into a whole lot of drama yeah you're gonna see a lot of things like this and I have seen situations like this when I worked in supermarkets like the food emporium back in the 90s I remember a white woman came in with an expired coupon and we knew that the coupon was expired and my manager what she just did was accept the coupon call it a day and keep it moving and sometimes you just have to do this because it's just not worth escalating things with certain people and it's just not worth the stress or the drama but what the mainstream media wants to do in the case of this story is they want to make it all like Brendan Langley was this super big black brute. They want to take part of the footage and show it to us, making it look like he's the bad guy in this story. They want to make it look like he's some sort of super violent black man. However, when you see the viral video online, we see how you're racist in the media want to want to go out here and demonize a black man who basically was just defending himself because a white worker at a united airlines got all hot and testy because he saw a black man with getting over as he thought and he wanted to put this black man in his place but unfortunately in his efforts to put this 
black man in his place, he wound up getting put out of United Airlines, and the whole story is not being told to people the way that it's needed because the mainstream media wants to make the black guy the bad guy. But the whole thing is, is that when you're in customer service positions, you have to, again, remain calm, remain in control. And yes, it may be technically wrong for a guy to use something like the chair, but you have to accept that if, if, if it gets him out of your way and gets him where he wants to go, you're going to just say, okay, we're done here. I'm going to punch in these codes. I'm going to send this stuff on its way on the conveyor belt, and I'm going to wish this guy a nice flight, and I'm going to get on with my life. That's what a healthy, rational, critical thinking man or a woman does in a customer service position because they know that these little things, they're going to come up, Unfortunately, this guy couldn't let it go because it didn't fit into his smooth world, and now his life is a whole lot rougher because now he's got to go look for another job, and he's got to try to find some work now that he's basically tarnished his reputation. He's got to start completely over, and that's all because he wanted to put on the cape and be a hero for United Airlines, and all United Airlines did was give him a big glob of clipping doodoo, smashed it in his face, and sent him on his way with a face full of crap, because that's what happens when you try to play hero for somebody's business, and you don't really understand that businesses don't need heroes, businesses are businesses, and you need to get to the business of just doing your job, minding your business, and letting things go, because that's what this dude should have did in the case of Brendan Langley, he should have just did his job minded his business and called it a day and if he had done that he wouldn't have been part of a viral video he'd still be working at united airlines today now if you want to learn more about the dysfunctional behavior of beta males and what motivates them to participate in incidents like this you can pick up my book the man crisis on amazon.com in paperback and kindle format you can also find the man crisis on smashwords the ibook store and google play and if you want to see me do more men's issues videos like this, you can donate to my Patreon, my PayPal, or my Cash App by clicking the links in the description box. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available at Paperback and Kindle Unlimited, The Man Crisis. Learn why so many men are struggling to find their way in an increasingly gynocentric world in the Man Crisis. Get your copy of The Man Crisis in paperback and Kindle Unlimited today.